Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the R cross C character matrix as the input in which a string yes is embedded in it and the hyphen represents the empty cells and the yes string is embedded in zigzag manner. So the program must reconstruct and print the string yes as the output. So first we are going to accept the R cross C character matrix in which a string yes is embedded and iPhone represents the empty cells and the string yes is embedded in a zigzag manner. So the string yes, yes. Then after that we have to reconstruct and print the string yes as the output. So we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we have four rows and five columns. So now we are going to first transpose it. That is, we are going to print like S K I L. Then since it is in zigzag manner, we have to start from the bottom. So L R A C and then again from top to bottom and then from bottom to top and again from yes to hyphen. So let's see how we can do this. First we are going to take a transpose. So let's take so S K I S K I L then C A R L then K P R O and then M A R G and yes hyphen 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 so this is a transpose and from this we are going to get the string yes that is we are going to just append the odd rows in same way and the even row in reverse that is from l r a c because for getting the zigzag order that is s k i l and r l r a c we are going to reverse it then for the odd row again we are going to print it as it as it is and then for m a r g we have to print in reverse and then for yes hyphen 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 we are going to print it as it is so this will be our final output now let us implement our program first we'll have a empty list called as matrix and then after that we are going to run an infinite loop to get our inputs so we'll get each line and we'll append it to the matrix. So we'll have a while loop while true. Then we are going to use the try and accept to get our input. So we have the try. So here we are getting input for each line of the matrix and we'll append it to that list and if we, if we get 
no input then we are going to use the except block where we are going to just break so if there is input then we are going to take it and append it to the matrix otherwise we are going to just break the loop in the except column so we accept break and after this after getting the inputs now we are going to so the matrix will be equal to the zip of star matrix so this zip function will get the transpose of the matrix so we'll convert it to list as we have to so for our convenience we have converted into list and after that we have yes equal to an empty string where we are going to append and for row in range len of matrix if the row mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 that is if it is a even row means we are going to increment that is just append the string yes with the with the same that is if it is a b c d means we'll have it as same a b c d so we'll just append the empty string yes with that line of that matrix and if it is a odd row means we are going to just reverse the characters so we'll have minus 1 here and and finally we are going to print the s dot replace of so there is a replace function video in our python function videos do check out and we are going to replace this hyphens with empty string in this program our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video